Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm a marketing specialist at Gorham Savings Bank in Portland. Part of my job is working on a program called Launchpad, which is the bank's small business competition. If you've seen the TV show Shark Tank, it's a lot like that, except much friendlier. We refer to it as Dolphin Tank. Small business owners across the state can apply on our website. We pick five of them to compete in a live pitch competition. Our judges pick the winner and the bank awards a $50,000 grant to help grow their business. As a community bank, it's our way of helping local entrepreneurs reach the next level. After all, Maine is made up of mostly small businesses. Wanted to tell you about a few of the past Launchpad winners and how their businesses fill a need. Flowfold is a name you might have heard of before. Charlie, the founder, grew up on Peaks Island right here in Casco Bay and worked repairing boat sails. One day, his bulky old leather wallet was falling apart, so he sewed a new one. He made a new, lighter, more durable one from sailcloth scraps at his work, and Flowfold's first product was born. They started with one wallet and today have grown into tote bags, backpacks, pouches, and even dog gear. You can find their products on sale at L.L. Bean and across the country. In 2019, they actually teamed up with L.L. Bean to produce the first ever limited edition bean boot collaboration, where the top half of the boot was made of Flowfold's sailcloth fabric. During the pandemic, they've pivoted to making face shields for hospitals, businesses, and schools all across the country. They're located in Gorham, and it all started with Charlie's idea to fill a need for a stronger, more durable, longer lasting wallet. Another past Launchpad winner is good to go in Kittery. Jennifer, the founder, was a chef in New York City. When she moved to Maine and met her husband, David, she started joining him on outdoor adventures across the state, like hiking and backpacking. And she got sick of eating the unhealthy, mushy, freeze-dried foods on their trips. So they started Good To Go together. Good To Go sells all natural, dehydrated gourmet meals. They took his love for the outdoors and her love of cooking and combined them. They're quick, healthy meals that actually taste good. You can make risotto or pad thai anywhere. All you need is boiling water. They make vegan and vegetarian options and all of their products are gluten free. Their mission is to change how people eat on the go, whether you're at the top of a mountain or at home. They've expanded into breakfast, weekender packs and emergency food kits. Entrepreneurs usually have an aha moment. They have a problem and they come up with an idea to solve it. Think about the products you use every day and what need they fill for you. How are they different from competing products? Is there a product or service you wish existed to fill a need that you have? Maybe you can come up with your own business idea.